Hey, today I visited some customers and they asked me what my favorite shortcuts are to use with the Hable One. So I figured, why not share them with you today? And first things first, I have to tell you what are shortcuts or what is the Hable One? So the Hable One is this device that we developed and it allows people with blindness to easily use the phone, both typing and accessing voiceover or talkback. Now, with this device, you can fully control your phone. And to do this, we use something that we call shortcuts. So a shortcut is a way to move to your home screen or to open your notifications or to quickly go to your quick navigation. It's a quick way to open an app or to do an action that normally takes a long time. We have a lot of those. We have over 250 shortcuts in the Hable One. And they asked me what my favorite ones are. So for today, I'll share my top three with you. These are shortcuts I always recommend people to learn and to use because they're just extremely useful and you would use them every time you use your phone. The first shortcut. So this is a shortcut I always recommend people to learn. And it's called the app switcher or for some people, you might know them as the recent apps. Now, what this shortcut does, it, it opens a menu with all the apps that you have currently opened. So any app that you've used in the past few hours and that's still open, you can find in this menu. Why is it so useful? Because you can really quickly switch between apps you're already using. So often it's these apps that you anyway want to open. Now, how do you do this? Well, to open the app switcher, you would use button two and three at the same time in your table. So I press two, three, I feel a vibration to know it worked with all the shortcuts, this happens. And on my phone, the app switcher or the recent apps now opens. Now on my phone, in this case, I'm on my settings. And if I now want to move to another app I had already opened, I just use the seven and eight. So this is the swiping command. So if I hold button eight and I tap seven, I can now go over my other apps. So I have Spotify, I have WhatsApp, Gmail. And anytime I want to open an app, I just double tap and open this app. It's super easy. So again, now I'm in my Gmail, but I want to go back to WhatsApp. I just use my app switcher. I go to WhatsApp and I open WhatsApp. Super easy, super convenient. I use it all the time. Now, one additional piece of advice with this app switcher is that you can also use this to close your apps. So if you have a lot of apps opened, your phone battery does drain a little bit faster. It's not as fast, but it's a little bit faster. So if you want to close an app, you also do this in the app switcher. So what did you do? You hold button two, three, open your app switcher. You go to the app you want to close. And when you close this app, you hold buttons one, four, and five, and six. This is also a two finger swipe upwards. So if I hold these down at the same time, I now closed my app and the app switcher. And that's the way how to properly close an app in your phone. Okay, the second shortcut I always recommend people to use is the magic tap. Now, what is the magic tap? The magic tap or the equivalent is the two finger double tap on your screen. The magic tap is a way to start a video or to pause a video, or it's a way to pick up a phone call or hang up a phone call. You can control your audio players with it. So play an audio book or pause an audio book. And the great thing about the magic tap is you can use it wherever you are in the phone. So let's say I'm on my phone and I'm right now typing a message. And in the background, I'm listening to some music. If I want to pause that music at the same time. I don't have to go to my music app and push the pause button. Instead, I just hold the button for the magic tab. Now, how do you access the magic tab? It's very simple, it's very accessible. It's just holding button three on your table. We put it on this place because it's super easy to access. So if you hold button three, super simple, you can use it in all these situations. Whenever you get a phone call, pick it up by holding button three. If you wanna hang up the phone call, hold button three again. You can use it for a lot of different things. There's even more you can use the Magic Tap for, but picking up phone calls, hanging up, and listening to music or pausing it is the best way to use this shortcut. All right, so to demonstrate, Leticia will actually uh, call me right now, and I will pick up just pressing button three. Leticia. So Leticia's calling me. And there you go, I just pick up the phone call, and now I'll, I'll hang up the phone. That's it, super easy. And now we get to the final shortcut, which is the spotlight search. Now you might not know what this function is, but it's actually super, super useful. So what is spotlight search? Well, spotlight is a embedded app in the iPhone or any iOS device you use. And it allows you to search all over the phone for whatever you're looking for. So 
instead of opening an app by going to the right page and searching for that app there and opening it, you can also use the spotlight search function on your table. So what you would do is you hold button one and six at the same time. Now I feel vibration and now I know my spotlight search opens. So whenever I open my spotlight search by holding one and six, I feel a vibration. Now, if I want to search for an app, I just type whatever app I'm searching for. Let's say I want to search for the mail app. I type mail. There you go. And if I find mail, I press one and eight or the enter at the same time. And there you go. I just opened my email app. Now you can do that for anything on the phone. So if you want to search for an application or if you want to search for a certain file in your phone or a certain message, you can do this in the spotlight search. So holding one and six at the same time, then type whatever message you need uh, or whatever you're searching for and press one and eight to search for this message. Super useful, because even if you don't know where an app is on your phone, you can still find it this way. You don't have to go into an app or search for an app on your screen to really find it. Huge, huge game changer whenever you're using a phone uh, with the Hable One. Now, if you would like to know more about these shortcuts or more about this video, we also wrote a complete blog about these different shortcuts that I just explained. So make sure to go to the blog in the description. Also on this blog page, we have way more information about how to use your Hable One or your phone more efficiently. So I really recommend you check that out. And that's it. Those are my top three shortcuts. Now, there are many, many more shortcuts in the Hable One. And there, I think there's also many more shortcuts that are super useful when it comes to text editing or quickly opening specific apps or even sequencing actions. It's all available. Now, what I recommend you to do is to find your own favorite shortcuts. On our website, we have all the guides and the manuals of how to use your Hable One. And here's a complete overview of all these different shortcuts you can use. So find for yourself what works or whatever, uh, whatever you need. Uh, if you don't find a certain shortcut or you think you're doing something but not in the fastest way, you can always reach out to us to figure out what the faster way would be to use it on your Hable One. So make sure to do that. I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and see you next time.